Hey YouTube, my name is Kushikush, Kush, and I'm going to be looking at the newest update to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Let's get into it. Easiest way to check out the newest updates is by clicking notifications at the top of the screen. And we can see that we have a gem sale. Now looking at it, it's 10 USD for 1000 gems. If that's a good deal for you, then go ahead. For me, that doesn't seem that good. In fact, the original one that you get, that one seems like the best deal. New selection pack, Flame of Fury. This is going to be meta defining. It is huge. Triple tactic talents, or excuse me, triple tactics thrust. That was the other version. Uh, this is going to be one of the best cards in the entire game. It's extremely powerful. Rescue Ace is going to be better in the future. It's going to be tier one in the future. Prediction Princess is not that good. Avishki may see some play. Uh, that's a little iffy because Avishki does have a weird loop where you can like get rid of cards in your opponent's hand. And then we got Cashier Horizon Heart. Uh, essentially the best monster in the entire game currently in Yu-Gi-Oh. Main reason I say that is because you can summon it using one Cashier monster on the field. It's a macrocosmos, which means that any card sent to the graveyard is banished. And uh, yeah, you can attach banished cards to it as material. And then quick effect, you can just detach three materials, which seems like a lot, but when you're able to, once per chain, attach a banished card to this, it's gonna have a lot of materials. You can just banish a card on the field. This card's insane. It's extremely broken and powerful. It's gonna warp the meta. Um, yeah, this box is just game changing. Besides that, we got a new secret pack. This is for Despia and Dark Lord. I think this is one of the better secret packs. Despia is a very good tier one deck straight out of the box. I think I would recommend it for new players as well. It's just very powerful. It's gonna be the main thing people are gonna be spending their money and gems on. Horizon Art. I want one copy. It's one of the best cards in the entire game. Is it gonna be banned? Most likely. It's extremely powerful. You're gonna be seeing a lot of it. It is a staple and you can virtually run it in any deck that you can run a Kashtira monster in. So, <laughs> not balanced. Uh, besides that, let me switch to newly added cards. We can see that we got some Gishki reprints like, okay, cool, Prediction Princess. Oh, I don't know why that's there because I guess they have a new Prediction Princess. Don't really care about her. Hope I don't pull her, honestly. Hope I don't pull the Gishki stuff either. Rescue Cat's a nice addition to be added here. Rescue Cat's an extremely, extremely good card, even in current day Yu-Gi-Oh. It, it came out like in the beginning. It's very good. We also got the Rescue Ace stuff, which is going to be good in the future not as of yet there's also some new support to the cash tiers this is actually very good support and it makes cash tier i think essentially full power if i'm not mistaken this is the field spell it adds you a cash tier monster from your deck it also does some other things it's pretty good that's why it's at one field spells are generally pretty good in Yu-Gi-Oh. that's why they're generally usually at one and terraforming is banned just because they're pretty powerful Triple Tactics Thrust, this is going to be a meta-defining card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm not just saying this to say it. I truly believe that Triple Tactics Thrust will be a meta-defining card. It will be ran in very top-tier decks, and uh, people might even run three of it. It searches you a normal spell or trap directly from your deck, either adds it to your hand or sets it on the field. The ability to search for any spell or trap in your deck is an extremely powerful ability, and I don't think we've ultimately seen the true potential of this card there's maybe a deck that can truly utilize this regardless that card's gonna be cool we also have this. this is the only trap ultra rare now this was a secret rare i believe in irl Yu-Gi-Oh in the tcg when it came out it didn't really see play but it does have an interesting effect change as many monsters on the field to face down defense position and if either player controls a face of monster they must send all face up monsters they control to the graveyard. It's not that good. I would rather just run the Book of Moon card. We got Dyna Mondo. No idea what this is. If it's special summon, target a card on the field. One ritual monster in your graveyard, shuffle both into the deck. Wow, that's kind of cool. During either player's turn, quick effect, you contribute this card, target one ritual monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, or special summon it. That's a cool new ritual support card. Maple Maiden. What is this? A fairy? Kind of like get rid of an opponent's card? Semi? It's weird. Don't know why it's a super rare. Maybe because it's going to change its attribute. Don't understand why that's so important. Rescue Ace stuff, I'm not going to look over it. It's going to be important in the future. Right now, it's not. I mean, you can run it, but it's not going to be full power. Scareclaw Cash Tier. I think this is going to be a very important card. Turn to main phase, special summon this. And if you do banish a Cash Tier or Scareclaw from your hand or graveyard. So you do need a banish in order to summon. Um, this card can attack while in face up defense position. It has 26 defense. And if your Cash Tier or Scareclaw monster battles an opponent's monster, 
that opponent's monster's effects are negated. It doesn't only apply to this one monster, it applies to all cash tier and all scare claws. So they all get that effect. It's not that bad. Besides that, this is the one that's going to be really meta defining. The elements cash tier. During the main phase, quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand if you do banish cash tier or two elements from your hand or graveyard. This card is normal or special summon. You can send the top three cards of either player's deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard from the card effect, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. It allows you to mill more. It also allows you to banish names from your graveyard, which you can get back from the traps, the two element traps. And it's another name that you can use for fusion summoning. It's extremely powerful and it mills. So it's cool. Ishki Grimness. You can use this card to ritual summon one ritual water monster. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Gishki from your deck. For real? Also, you can only the card tags with ritual monsters. That's it? It's a level two? That's really good. That's a good card. With Sprite? I would mess with that. That seems that seems very potent. A new Gishki ritual spell. You can tribute monsters on the hand or field whose total level equal the level of the ritual monster you wish to ritual summon, or tribute one face of monster your opponent controls. So you can just get rid of your opponent's monster to summon yours. Okay, that's cool. I thought that's what ritual should have did originally, but I thought maybe that's a little too powerful. If you ritual summon using this card, you lose life points equal to the original attack of the ritual summon monster. Oh, jeez. That's a downside. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Gishki monster in your graveyard, place that at the top of the deck, and if you do place this card at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's not as good as the previous one, which returns it to the hand, um, but it's also not bad. It's cycling. It's cool. It's a cool effect. We got Kashira Big Bang. If a Kashira XYZ is on the field and the player controls two or more monsters, they must banish monsters they control face down, so they only control one monster. If this card is banished, you can target one Kashira XYZ you control, add one of your Kashira monsters attached to it to your hand, then you can special summon that monster. I think you actually run this as a combo to be banished with the level 4 Kashira, who becomes a level 7. Way Bridge. If your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do, your opponent must send monsters they control to the graveyard so they only control one. That's not a bad card, it's just troll. That's a very troll card. Maybe it could have came out a long, long, long time ago and been meta. Very weird. Amongus Hive Hegemon Zex Stagger. Uh, gain Stranger Attack for each insect on the field. Insect support. Oh, shoot. Let's go. It's level 8, but it has 15 attack, bruh. What are you doing? If an insect is special summoned, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, that's. Oh, no wonder. That's an easy summon. During the end phase, after you activate this effect, each player can special summon one insect from your hand or graveyard, but <laughs> each player, your opponent's not running insects. Oh, what maxi? But they can special summon a maxi. That's about it. This card's kind of cool. It, it's it's kind of funny. I like it. It's during the end phase of either player's turn, too, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Scareclaw Decline. It kind of sucks. Because, yeah, you get to add a field spell from your graveyard, or you control during the hand, which is cool, because you can reactivate it in search of Scareclaw. Um, and then you kind of get a Book of Moon if you control Visa Starfrost, which is cool. But, I mean, it just seems like too much. Three or more defense position just to add one card from the graveyard. Why not just add one from the graveyard if you control Scareclaw or something like that? Underworld Ritual Prediction. So during your opponent's turn, you can special summon something from your deck and you can a a potentially flip it up. I, I like that. That's kind of powerful. That's a good ritual spell. And then we got some of the rescue stuff. This is going to be really, really good later on. Scareclaw Defanging. Your opponent cannot target Scareclaw Link Monsters or Visa Starfrost you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Whoa. You're telling me the Scareclaw Link Monster can't be destroyed by card effects or targeted? And it's unaffected by monster effects on the field except Link? Wait. This card just, this card just makes Scareclaw really scary. Banish any monster destroyed by battle with the scare. Oh my, and you just banish them? You can banish a Scareclaw link monster on the field or in the graveyard and target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Wow. Wow. When I think of power packed into one card, this is what I think of. This makes your Scareclaw link monster into virtually a tower. indestructible. Unless your opponent has a link monster with 3,000 or more attack that can just crash into it with battle. It's it's not gonna die. The banishing an opponent's monster when destroying is cool. It's a, it's a powerful effect, and also just destroying a card on the field gives you an option of removal. 
That's an extremely powerful card. Surprise why it's only a rare. It's going to make Scare Claws a lot better. Um, we got some more Rescue Ace stuff. Uh, extinguish, Reinforce. What else? What's down here? Some more Reptile support. If a monster is sent from the hand to the graveyard, while this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but place it at the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. You would probably run three of this in a Reptile deck, no? Because Reptiles can send a lot of monsters from the deck to the graveyard. That's pretty good. What about this? Prediction Princess Bibliomoose. It's a flip monster. When it's flipped face up, add a Prediction Princess monster and one Ritual. Oh, you add two cards? If this card is tributed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card in face down. <laughs> okay. You can... That's so cool. That's a really cool effect. You can only use each of the preceding effects of this card once per turn. Your opponent cannot target ritual monsters you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Yo, this monster makes your ritual untargetable and undestroyable? Okay, alright, that's really good. More rescue ace stuff. We got Bay Rock Dragon. Oh, dinosaur support, baby. Let's go. If a monster you control or in your hand is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Dinosaurs generally destroy cards on their field or in their hand, so this card has really great synergy. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target another dinosaur or one rock monster in your graveyard special summon it. Imagine it said destroyed by a card effect, not an opponent's card effect. This card would have been busted, it would have been ultra rare, it would have been ran in dinosaur decks, it would have been meta. Um, but no, nah, it needs to be destroyed by an opponent's card effect. It's cool, it does get another body on the board. It's a 6, it's a dinosaur, and it's an earth. Those are important in dinosaur decks. Besides that, we got a couple of aces. If this card's in your hand, you can toss a coin. If the result is head, special summon this card on the field. If the result is tails, special summon this card to your opponent's field. If this card is special summoned by its effect, draw two cards. So either you draw two cards, your opponent draws two cards. It's literally Cup of Ace, except it's a monster. And now Exodia decks have more tools. So that's exciting. What else do we got? It's Kashtira Overlap. Target one monster on the field. Banish one monster with 1500 attack and 21 defense. That's very specific. Uh, from your hand or your graveyard or face up on your field. And if you do, the target the monster gains 1500 attack. This card is banished and you control a Kashtira monster. You can target an effect monster your opponent controls and gain its effects until the end of the turn. No, that just seems, I mean, that just seems bad. I, the only way it could be good is if it gets banished and you negate an opponent's monster effect, but it activates on a separate chain. So just sending it to the graveyard through a discard is not immediately going to negate an opponent's monster effect and needs to be on a separate chain. It's kind of iffy. Uh, Scareclaw Twin Saw. Tribute one Scareclaw monster and target two cards your opponent controls. Destroy them. And if you do, if you control Vistros, you can banish those cards. Bro, this card is good. I don't want to run Visa Star Frost, but being able to search for a searchable destroy two is good if a link three or higher is on the field you can banish this card from your graveyard for the rest of the turn neither player can activate the effects of link monsters on the field and it's an anti-link hate card and you can do that during your opponent's turn no you can literally just trigger this during your opponent's turn that's a card that's a card sour scheduling red vinegar vamoose Activate this card only if your opponent controls a card in this set cards column. Return all other cards in this cards column to the hand. Neither player can use the un... Oh my god. No! Oh no, Kashira players. Don't use this. This is a little too powerful. <laughs> it locks out too many zones. Uh, Alright, that's going to be it for this video though. I looked at the new stuff. Kashira is going to be very important. Uh, Prediction Princess, uh, maybe not as much. And Vishki, maybe not as much. Rescue Ace in the future. Triple Tactics Thrust is going to be an extremely meta-defining card. I'm going to be picking up three of those. I hope you liked the video. My name is Kushikush. Kush. Leaving a like and subscribing and a comment really does show a lot of support. And it just shows me that you want to see more videos like this. And as always, I hope you have a great day or night. And maybe I'll catch you next time. Later.